Hey there everybody, this is Breakdown with Burning Dart number two. Today we're going to focus on fight or flight. Do you want to stick around to fight, or do you actually want to just run away, and what's the better choice? It's good to see you guys again, and uh, hopefully this will be a lot easier than uh, Burning, Breakdown with Burning Dart number one. Still like in the testing phase. Made a couple of clips, I want to show you guys how everything brings together. Uh, so you can see how like you know all of these little thought processes add up, and uh, really bring our game up to top notch. So uh, let's just get started with the first one. A uh, little clip on sword base. Uh, I want to I want to show you guys uh, just a little clip. You know, uh, see what a wrong choice about what we can do, um, and like these kind of situations. Like if you're fighting more than one guy, if you're you know if you feel comfortable like fighting these kind of fights. Um, all right. So uh, going down to shoot this guy, uh, not a bad idea. But then sticking around to fight those two guys over there. And then I get assaulted from the top, uh, as we've seen other two guys. So it, in total, I had almost four guys on me after I killed that initial person. Um, so in that, so in this scenario, as we see, that was definitely the wrong choice. Uh, if you want to just kind of go back over it again, you know, uh, you see me just jump down. You really don't want to jump down here. If I stayed up top, it would have been perfectly fine. Then I see these guys. I, I break their shields, but you know, two broken shields means nothing when I'm dead and they have two guys ready to finish me off with perfectly full shields. So, you know, just kind of like these are some things that like, you know, I just kind of want you guys to see like, you know, what a wrong choice might be. Um, if you go back over your games, you know, you might you might see something like that where it's like, hey, you know, uh, do, did I really need to go down here and engage with these people or, you know, could I have actually been a little bit better off um, maybe backing up. And I apologize for this, uh, having to go back and forth in between everything. Um, I am, I want to kind of get like, you know, I have a webcam and everything like that, I want to try to get this involved with it, but I don't really know how to use it with fraps right now, like, you know, switch it back and forth, make it a little bit easier for you guys. Uh, as for right now, it's a little bit easier for me just to do this. Everything's loading up uh, perfectly fine. Like I said, I have all my clips already prepared for you, so we won't have to wait too, too long. But as we see right there, uh, in sword base, you know, dropping down to the bottom center, and a couple of these are older games. Uh, and a couple of them are newer games. I'm kind of mixing them in because uh, back when I used to uh, start looking at all these games, um, I really did notice a huge change in my gameplay. This is actually one of like my newer games, uh, and I want to show you guys what a couple of right choices would be. And I'm gonna you know break it down a little bit uh, once you watch it initially. So we'll, we'll figure this out right here. All right. So on asylum, I'm just uh, I'm just going in. I'm shooting a couple people. I'm not getting any kills. Uh, I see I get one assist already. Uh, break another guy's shield. See a guy. I see the cloak guy. I figure I'll go for him. And I notice that on my tail, I am gonna have a guy uh, shooting at me. So I ran away. Got another assist. Decided to jump down so I won't get attacked by the guy that was chasing me. Put a few bullets in another person. Help out with a kill. Uh, one of our buddies has to die unfortunately, but I help finish off the kill. Grab the sniper rifle uh, with my buddy right here. So. That moves a little bit quick. That, that moved a, a really a lot quickly. Uh, or, that moved very quickly. There we go. Proper English. Nice to hear you guys. <laughs> All right. That moved very quickly, and I just kind of want to like break this down a little bit more. Um, as for the breakdown, of brain darts. There you go. Uh, you know, like I said, it's not about you know having to make these kills. I I just uh, break this guy's one shield. Um, somebody gets an, uh, an assist off of that. Pop another guy's shield. And as you see, uh, down in the, as you see in the bottom left, uh, if you guys don't use your radar, please start using your radar. And I will talk about that uh, in one of my uh, breakdowns. But for right now, I kind of want to do like a little bit more of an advanced fight or flight kind of thing. Uh, we see a guy behind me. I'm not going to stick around for that. I decided to run away, and that's the right decision. I don't need to get flanked by a guy right behind me and get assassinated uh, when I could clearly just run away, as you guys saw. And as you see right in front of me, there's a guy uh, just to my left. So staying inside won't be a good idea. So, so right from here, I, I see that. As quick as I can, I back up. The gentleman that was following me is getting assaulted by my teammate because I ran towards my teammates. And I put in a couple shots my, of uh, the enemy real quick, just so in case anybody wants to get a hold of them. Turn back around. Uh, just start, you know, do this a little bit of slow motion. Uh, our buddy gets assassinated, uh, but I turn around, I help out the buddies, uh, get a kill, and I pop off this kill. I notice that that, that was a sniper that was uh, that we shot up before. Pick it up. Even though it only has one bullet in it, it's still their sniper rifle. Pop in here, get to the get to the wall, 
and I escaped that. I escaped that whole situation without having to deal with any deaths. I had, what, uh, two or three assists. Uh, probably another, like, an, an additional one or two where I assisted but didn't get the medal. And then I finished off with one kill, which could have been a lot shorter of me just staying at that base and at that sniper and dying. So you guys can really see the difference between, you know, making a couple of right choices uh, rather than, like, jumping out in the center and trying to fight four guys at once. There, uh, there really is a, a huge difference in the way that we play. And, uh, you know, you guys will start to see this. I want to also show one. Uh, this is a more recent one as well of me doing both, like, almost instantaneously of each other. So, you guys can start to see, you know, the difference between, like, making good choices and clearly good, clearly they are good choices. And then you guys can start to see, like, you know, why the choices aren't so good. The same person playing, like, clearly. Um, so, you know, you, you guys will start to see that. Again, I do apologize for this little bit of a delay in between all these segments. But it's quite alright. Alright, I use a rocket launcher uh, just to kill a guy. I see that uh, our teammates are fighting over in the cranes. Decide to get the double kill. I see two guys coming up here. I see three guys actually. Uh, one off the respawn. I know that they're all constantly spawning back there. But instead of running away, I decide to stay and fight and get shotgun down. Now I do want to. I want to go over this one more time, uh, just to kind of show like you know what's going to happen here. And as we see. You know, I am uh, just fine. I miss a rocket. I get one rocket kill. I know I'm out of them, uh, and I decide to stick around, get that double kill. All right, now that was a good uh, that, that was a good call. Uh, I knew that we got two kills right there. Um, my reloading spot on. I'm okay, but you see right here, okay? Uh, there was one person all the way in the back, and I know that they spawned back there. Uh, I have another person in my sights right now, and then there's a guy just to the right of my radical that's throwing a grenade up on top of me. And I'm going to die if I stick around here. This is one against three. Uh, as you see on my radar, I have another two buddies over on my right. But I'm, there's no shots in any of these guys right now. And if I kind of back up a little bit, let, let my friends uh, take care of them, let my teammates take care of them, uh, you know, even we, we can couple shields, when their attention is diverted from me, then I can go back and get a couple of kills. But as we see, you know, I'm just going to do this a little bit slower. Uh, I, I stick away from the one first grenade. But I know they're going to keep on throwing grenades up here because, they again, they just spawned. And I have one teammate engaging while the other one's sticking back. And now if both of them went inside of there. It might be a different story. But this guy, he smelled blood. Uh, I gave him it. I moved out in front to an open area. And he had a shotgun. And I'm missing all these shots, by the way. But it doesn't matter. If I, I, mean, if I hit him spot on, I might have gotten it. But the way I like to play is that it takes it takes my shots out of the equation. I get killed, and as you guys see, it's not um you know it's not hard to make a really good decision and then make a really bad one you know two seconds later. Um, it, it is a it is a constant you know way of thinking. Now if I if I decided to turn around uh, after getting that double kill that you guys did see, and uh, decided to run away or you know as I said hang back a little bit, wait to you know see if anybody was going to engage and maybe like you know pick off a kill or even like you know get a shield or two a little bit later that'd be a lot different but the way I, I played that um, it wasn't good and I when I when I stayed on top of the stairs and went kind of the hammer right the hammer uh, room that you know I I put myself out for a lot of grenade chucking for one and a lot of shots to be fired on top of me you guys saw that and it was uh, it's very plain to see so all right, we're gonna go into uh, this game right here, which is you know fighting or f uh, fight or flight. You know, you watch a couple of these games, and you know, do this for yourself too. Uh, watch a couple of my, you know, if you watch these YouTube videos, you'll start to see. And I'm just gonna let this play through uh, completely. Now, just to let you guys know, um, this is a perfection on arena. Again, it's a, it's an old uh, game, uh, but this was after I started, you know, just watching everything. And, you know, kind of like seeing, like, hey, what do I want to do? Like, you know, do I want to start to fight this guy? Like, this guy, I decide to fight. Like, you know, he's clearly by himself. Drop down, get the sniper rifle, and then run away. Uh, there's a guy right on top of me. Uh, now, this is a bad move by me. Like, I, I kind of feel confident, like, in me shooting this guy. Um, but, like, if you guys aren't confident with, like, you know, using a sniper rifle that close and then switching out to a DMR or just, like, getting the sniper rifle full up, 
don't do it. You know what I mean? Like you don't you don't have to take those kind of risks. I was a bit of a risk by me, and I don't I don't like the fact that I did that. And also, um, you know, we I'm gonna start to like you know talk a little bit more uh, about like you know just kind of like I saw the radar, position myself. I see this guy's down here. He's not gonna come up. So I know he's going with the blue lift, or as we see here, he has a jetpack. Uh, now there's two guys on the ramp down the, in the bottom bridge. I, I could have, I could have decided to like you know try to snipe at them, uh, but you know I decided to back up, not really worry about it, and you know just let them come to me, let them come to us, get a get an assist up here, you know uh, just just getting the quick little scopes here and there. Like I said, I'm you know I don't feel comfortable all the time like you know just looking down my scope and shooting at people or chasing people. Rather than chase that guy down the stairs who was one shot, I decided to stay up here, help protect my friend, and uh, you know, pop a couple shields across the room and get a couple shots on the people. And uh, that that just seems to be like the easier way for you know for me. Like I said, some of you guys might feel a bit more comfortable, but you know, I ran out of ammo right there. Rather than stay in DMR fight, I let them do what they had to do. Uh, I don't I didn't feel the need to like really rush over to uh, yellow side or anything like that. And as I am out here, I know I'm safe. All my teammates are on the other side. Uh, we just killed, like, they're blocking all the spawns, and there's a guy right above me, so I'm just, like, you know, kind of taking a look down here, keeping keeping the shotgun from being spawned on. And it has a lot to do with, uh, you know, like, the way that you move around a map has a lot to do with, you know, do you want to fight people, do you not want to fight people. Uh, with this, you know, as we saw before, um, this was a wrong decision to drop down, uh, but that's because that on top, uh, on yellow, before there was two guys uh, down in the open room, there's two guys. Now it's just kind of like, you know, it's a nice open field. I I'm trying to stick by the uh, carbine room and being able to drop down any time to watch out for the sniper rifle. A lot of this was, uh, again, like, you know, knowing when the power weapons and everything is too. So you have to kind of like know like when you want to sit and attack, uh, when you don't want to attack. Um, and like I said, this was, you know, so this was starting when I was just becoming, you know, able to look at my games and being like, hey, do I want to wanna fight against these guys or do I kind of want to, like, you know, stick back? And, you know, right now I'm kind of sticking back. I'm just making sure, like, hey, is that sniper up? Is that sniper not up? I'm just checking to see where their spawns are. You know, you look back and forth constantly. You want to try to get information. Uh, especially when you're not playing with people that you know and, like, that communicate with you. If you're playing with complete strangers, like I was not You want to constantly look around for information yourself. You see where your team dies. Uh, you see it says, like, you know, grenades or anything like that. Uh, around every three minutes is when, you know, uh, usually the good stuff spawns. Uh, which I know that the sniper rifle for this game was a good stuff. So I dropped down right before three minutes, like, you know, just making sure everything was clean. And, um, you know, just taking a look up around. Uh, I see you guys on top of me, I just decide to crouch. I don't I don't feel like I need to, like, you know, make it known to fight. Shoot them in the back a couple times. Man, that took a lot of shots, but hey, guaranteed shots, guaranteed kill. I didn't have to get hurt. Like, I wasn't in any kind of danger. Uh, I know my teammates are backing me up right here, so I let them go ahead a little bit. You know, I don't need to sprint out in front when I have a sniper rifle. I just save them uh, with my sniper. Uh, and I miss, you know, I miss a couple shots. You know, you you getting perfections and you getting better doesn't mean that you have to like, you know, get all your shots on time. As you see right here, I just completely botch this shot, botch that kill. Uh, but rather than like, you know, stand up there and fight, I decide just to drop down. You know, cut my losses. Make sure I throw the grenade to make sure he doesn't drop down, or if he does, I'll be okay. And you know, it's not about it's not about you getting the kill so much uh, in some of your games as it is you not dying a lot. And this was just one of the games that, like, you know, I'm just looking down, like, you know, check my radar. I see the guys going to come up the stairs, so I just prepare for it. And I still miss it, you know what I mean? Uh, and this is just a huge missed kill. I missed, I missed uh, what, two or three sniper bullets. Uh, I had to drop all the way down. I'm just running away, trying to, you know, get my health. I don't have any grenades. And, uh, you know, I just make sure, like, you know, everything's reloaded at the end. But once I was safe, I didn't want to reload, like, while I was in danger. So... That was, that was, you know, one of the good things about it. And, again, like, this is a lot of ideas kind of coming together, but I'm making sure to run away and staying away from people. If you look at the radar most of this game, you'll see that, like, the way I move, uh, I see a guy coming up the red bottom, and I just crouch back up. When he comes up, quick little assassination, beautiful. Uh, he, but he decided to go out on his own turn by throwing a grenade. So, hey, who, who am I to judge? Who am I to judge? <laughs> but... You know, it's, um, a lot of this is just, like, you know, deciding if you want to run away or not. Uh, I see this guy was coming up blue lip. I just get a quick little body shot. Uh, me dropping down was a bit of a mistake, but I see there was a guy above me. I decided to kind of, like, crouch to get inside the room just to make sure, like, I'm not going to get, uh, you know, too hurt here. Uh, get a quick little snipe. Get a guy off the spawn. And then, uh, last bullet. Triple kill. Beautiful stuff. Uh, I was, I was so happy with myself doing this. 
Um, but hey, like, you know, you don't have to get these kind of triple kills, so, you know, be smart. I could have ran inside Carbine at any given time and been okay. So, you know, I kind of realized that, like, hey, uh, I'm getting the perfection here. So I just back up a little bit. Just start, you know, throwing some grenades. Uh, I don't sit there so I can get, like, grenade or anything like that. I drop the sniper rifle, I back up a little bit. And, uh, let, let somebody else take care of it. I don't have to sit in the front, do a little hump, get killed. Beautiful game, beautiful perfection, everybody. And that's how you do it, you know? It's not about, um... It really isn't about, you know, you getting the most kills sometimes. Uh, as you see, like, I, I tied for leader on top of that right there. Uh, and, you know, it's two, it was basically two clans against each other and me. So, it doesn't have to be about, you know, you guys really killing each other uh, when you want to get better at this game. Uh, you know, at first, definitely, you want to get more kills, and it feels awesome. But, like, when you want to kind of get to that next level of gaming, uh, you know, the next level of playing Halo or, or really any uh, uh, FPS... It's about like you not dying that much, and you know, learning no, learning when to fight or when to run away. Uh, the fight or flight, it's definitely you know, it, it's a hard lesson to learn. But when you learn it, man, does it click in perfections like that? That was one of my, that was one of like my second or third perfections that I've ever had in Halo Reach, and uh, since then I usually get about like one or two a week. So and I don't play all that much. It's just that when you constantly do the right calls. Um, you won't die and the perfections become a lot easier and become more routine and even uh, like you know the perfections like you don't get them every game <laughs> which I would love to but you start getting like you know you get maybe like 10 and 2 uh, you know you start getting like 12 and 4 your your kills go up and your deaths decrease uh, and sometimes your kills don't go up uh, or like they stay the same but when your deaths go from like you know uh, 12 a game to like you know you start seeing like where you're making like eight deaths a game and you start cutting down it's like you know maybe five uh, deaths a game but like you know it really it really feels good when you're just kind of like you're on top of your game the whole time and you're just not getting uh, killed and getting run out and you're just not running out there and getting killed so this is just like you know a little like what you can do for yourself uh, when you play with random people when you play with your friends um, just learning when to kind of like you know when you want to fight uh, and when you want to run away, it's a great, it's a great like you know skill to learn. And I hope that you guys enjoyed this. And uh, let me know what you guys think. If you like uh, the way I kind of set everything up, made an eclipse, and then showed like a full game. I'm planning on uh, doing this from now on. Kind of like taking a couple clips of like, hey, this is like you know what you can do, and then like running through a full game because you know we do have the time. And uh, this wasn't exactly a long game. Uh, as you see, it's only six minutes. Uh, though me talking might be a little bit long. So. Just let me know what you guys like. Uh, let me know if you guys don't like this. Uh, again, I'm going to try to incorporate my webcam in here so you're not just staring at the theater screen or looking at the video load-ups. But what are you guys going to do for now? So thank you very much. This has been Breakdown with Burning Dart. Uh, thank you very much for sticking with my channel. And let me know what you guys feel. And uh, good luck playing.